Sorry, I was just getting rid of the elephant in the room. I moved into a construction zone. I'm like, Scott the Builder up in here. <laughs> Scott the Builder. It's a lot different than my other house in the sense that I have to like lean down pretty much everywhere I go. Are you seeing this? If I walk in this room and I'm not careful, and my fan's on, I'm getting decapitated. I'm, I'm gonna be painting today. I'm not like a professional painter or anything, but I've drawn on Snapchat. I've always, I've always been like relatively good at art stuff. What I did was I took to Instagram and asked people what they would want to see me paint. And I got a lot of good suggestions, but two really stuck out to me. So I'm gonna put their Instagram names right here. Kyle Heineke, some of y'all may know him. He was in one of my other videos. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Kyle Heineke said, Rick and Morty traveling through different cartoon TV shows with the portal gun, which I thought was a cool idea getting to paint those characters in like different styles but then Evelyn Cox said something in the style of a famous artist but a subject of your own choosing I'm gonna actually combine those and I'm gonna do a painting of Rick in the style of a Picasso painting I don't know how it's gonna turn out I got paints I got canvases let's get set up and let's get painting <laughs> Yo, I really am Scott the Builder, except I'm not doing anything to help with this house remodel right now. Sorry, Dad. Look at my easel, y'all. Making that easel was easy. <laughs> that is sick. All right, now I gotta get my paints. Okay. I'm a mess. I got a sketch here of what I'm gonna be painting. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, that's kind of Monet, M uh, not Monet, wow. That's kind of Picasso-y, right? Picasso-esque. I'm just gonna kinda put it right here so I can look at it. Did y'all see how I didn't hit my thumb just then? <laughs> Woo! I'm a handyman, Scott the Builder. Two for two. All right, so I looked at a lot of Monet's. Why do I keep saying Monet? I got the mind on the Monet and the Monet on my mind. I looked at a lot of Picasso's paintings and his backgrounds were either really busy or they just kind of had like a solid color. I wanted to make it like kind of like something going on in the background, but not too much. I'm gonna cover this whole canvas in like the green portal that Rick is always using. So I'm just gonna put like the portal in the background, cover the canvas, let it dry, and then we're gonna go into painting uh, Rick actually on there. So that's what I'm gonna do to start out with. We're just gonna wet the canvas. If there are any professional painters watching this and my technique is just absolutely garbage, hey, please shut up. Let's see what kind of funky color green and yellow give us. Sometimes there ain't nothing to it but to do it, and you just gotta go for it. You don't wanna finish your painting with any kind of regrets. Just leave it all on the canvas. What if I tried to narrate this whole thing just like Bob Ross? That's where this little part of the portal is gonna live. Right right over here. And it's, it's your portal. You get to make it. My portal, for right now. I can't really do anything else until this is done drying, but don't worry. I would like to introduce everyone to my biggest fan. I'm gonna put this near here and I'm gonna have it blowing on the canvas so that way it'll dry quicker and I'll be able to start painting again sooner. So, see you when it's done. Okay, so I was getting tired of having to hold it at the corner uh, and look what I did. Didn't damage the canvas at all, but it's still holding it. It's not going anywhere. Scott the Builder, dude. All right, so the paint dried relatively quickly. Shout out to my number one fan. So now I'm gonna get a sketch on the canvas before I actually paint it because I don't wanna create one of those happy little accidents Bob Ross was talking about. I think what I'm gonna do at the bottom, I got some extra space here. I'm gonna write Swifty. Rick and Morty fans will know that episode, but I'm gonna write Swifty at the bottom. I'm a paint Rick now, dude.
if you look at Rick, whenever I was looking at Rick, I noticed that he had like small spikes at the bottom of his head and then at the top he had longer. But I'm trying to keep it like Picasso-esque, you know? So I feel like if Picasso saw Rick, he wouldn't really care about the spikes. I mean, shoot, the guy put someone's mouth on a jawline. So I'm gonna do like a light gray, a medium gray, and a dark gray on his face. I'm scared, okay. Um, uh, uh, ah, uh, okay. Ah! Uh, I just gotta go for it, I just gotta go for it. This is, ah! Uh, that's not the gray I wanted there. Maybe it'll look cool. So while his face is sitting, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add like a darker blue into his hair. I feel like we could just do something different with it rather than just like the solid color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the eyes and probably everything else. Easy one first, I reckon. I'm gonna draw the pupils in there after I'm completely done because that'll be easier to do with um, Sharpie. I'm kind of conflicted as far as what I wanna do with the jacket. It's like, do I wanna leave it white? I mean, I'm, I mean, I feel like I might as well. I'm gonna go for the green. I think he wears a green undershirt. Let me look. So I just Googled Rick to see like what color shirt he wore underneath his lab coat. And it's funny because the Wikipedia page for Rick Sanchez, the cartoon popped up, but there's another like Rick Sanchez. Could you imagine being Rick Sanchez, the journalist? And whenever someone types in Rick Sanchez, a freaking cartoon character pops up. I wonder if Scott, what happens when Scott Chestnut pops up. My YouTube. I noticed while I was painting the lab coat that I forgot part in his face that I wanted. So I'm gonna add that really quick. All right, so I have stuff drying down here that I can't really touch right now, but this up here, his hair is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline that. Something that's kind of funny is while I'm outlining this, it's like not writing as well until I write on something paper. Like I'm tricking it. It's like, haha, we're writing on paper. Psych. I want one thing to pop. I want the drool to be like this one spot where it's just like different. I'm gonna like chill on that to see what could work. Like maybe something cool come up or something, think of something cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just outline the eyes with a Sharpie to make it easier on myself. You know, one thing I'm learning is Sharpie doesn't like canvas. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small pupil in the big eye and then a large pupil in the small eye. I don't know how I feel about the big pupil. I'm gonna get rid of it. I almost messed up his lab rat. What? His lab coat? Not a rat, hello? So the more I outline it in Sharpie, the more I wanna like try to do it in um, paintbrush. Actually, you know what? That looks so much better. All I'm doing is taking a nail and dipping it in black paint. You remember when they used to dip feathers in ink and write, um, you know, like the Declaration of Independence? That's like me right now. Now it looks like blood. <laughs> I outlined like the drool in red and it looks like blood. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm literally painting with a nail right now. I am nailing this painting. <laughs> it was easy at first and then it was just like a pain in my bum. So not doing it. I'm just going to go with paint and hope for the best. I thought his hair was kind of missing something and I kind of wanted to like give the illusion that he was actually like going through the portal a little bit. So I'm just kind of adding some like little lines in his hair. Kind of like give it like a little glitch kind of feel. Now I just need, dude, honestly, dude, we are at the finishing touches. Um, wow. Okay, cool. Uh, we're done. I'm just going to fix up some stuff, right? Swifty. I'm going to finish and then I'm going to show you all the finished product. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ricasso. All right, 
well, that was fun. Thank you everyone for your suggestions if you sent them in. More than likely, this won't be my last painting video. Um, pretty proud. I turned out a lot better than I expected. So if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. I try to do fun stuff on my channel as much as I can. I've had a few new people subscribe to my channel uh, in the past month, month and a half. So thank you to everyone who saw my channel and decided to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like for Ricasso here. Comment whatever videos you want to see. Comment what you thought. If you're a professional painter and I did everything completely wrong, hey, tear me apart in the comment section. I've you know, it's whatever. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok. I'm a lot more active on those apps. Shatter that subscribe button. I can't stop looking at my painting. Also, um, does anyone want to buy this? Or like... <laughs>